hey guys, George here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your real club and competition names, your badges, kits, faces, and trophies all in your Football Manager 2022 save. Guys, if you are only after how to do one of these things, then the chapters are in the description, so you can just click on that to go where you need to go. Without further ado, guys, let's get in to the video. So guys, as you can see, we are currently in Football Manager. Now, if we try to start a new game, let's go for career. And you can see, if we go to uh, Europe, England, Premier Division, no badges in here. This is all going to change, because in Manchester United is Man U FC. That'll change. So, let's get straight into uh, how to do it. I'm going to show you what you need to do. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Google Chrome here. And we are right on WinRAR. So this is the first thing you need to download, guys. Remember, all the links to all of these things are going to be in the description. So you need to download WinRAR and install. And that's the first thing you need to do, guys. So get that done. Now up next, we've got uTorrent. Now this is how you're going to download all your kind of big files. So as you can see, I can uh, open uTorrent. Let's just search it up. There we go. And uh, this is what it'll look like once it's open so guys get both of these things downloaded and then you'll be good to go remember the links to them are down in the description now guys once you have installed winrar and utorrent what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this pc on your file explorer then to documents sports interactive football manager 2022 and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a folder so you go new folder and we're going to name it graphics you can stay lowercase that's fine it can be whatever and then you're going to go inside that folder and you're going to create a few more folders. So the first one is going to be called Logos. The second one is going to be called Kits. The third one is going to be called Faces. The fourth one is going to be called Trophies. So those are all the folders that you need to create, guys. This works for Cracked Foot Manager 2022 as well, if you are using that. So guys, it's time to download some more things. And the first one is the logo pack. So this is the TCM logo pack. This is a uh, FM21 one, but it does work and it does have an update as well. So if we scroll to the bottom here, here we go. So you've got the TCM mega pack with the download. So if you click on this, it'll bring you to a new page where you've got the media file link or the mega link. So... You just have to click download and look the Manchester United logo is not present in the pack so we can fix that The update is the same as well. So if you do want the Manchester United logo Then you need to go to this link which is also in the description Which is a file called 680 which is Manchester United's kind of data name in Football Manager So you're gonna open that into your downloads and that you will see it. It's here It's got the Manchester United logo Here's the normal size one. There you go. So I'll tell you what to do with that later. The next thing you need to download is the DF11 Mega Pack. Now, this is a big, big file, guys. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of things to download. So it might take a while. But once you've got it downloaded, so this is the quickest way to download it, I think, which is downloading it via uTorrent. So you click download via torrent. It'll give you another thing. So you've got a magnet link, or you've got the download DF11 Mega Pack torrent. So probably the best way to do this is click this which will download a file which is in here it's called a df11 mac 11 mega pack july 2021 you double click on this obviously this is open in your winrar and you can see this is already added because i've already downloaded it so guys we're going to move on to the next thing that you need to download which are the kits now you can choose whatever kit you want here. I've linked you to this page, which kind of has all the kit packs. What I would go for, mainly because it gives you all the kits, as Manchester United do have some licensing issues. So if you want their kits as well, I would go for the standard kits, as they have the United kit in there. The FC12 does not. So, standard kits. We get to Foot 100 2022 kit packs. And then, look, you've got all of these, all of these different ones here. So if you want the Premier League ones, then you can go England Premier League standard. And look, you've got all the kits. Watford's not included because Watford's already licensed. So you just click download. And then you just go to this mirror. So let's go to a media fire one. And 
by the way, guys, you do have to create an account on, on this website, but it's completely free, and it will go to download it, and then you'll just download it from here. Now, guys, if you didn't want, if you did want some other kits, um, you can just go back over to the kits forum, and then you've got your Spanish kits, you've got the Serie A ones, um, and then I think the French League are already licensed, so are the Bundesliga, and most of Serie A is licensed as well, but the ones that aren't are in this kit back here. So, that should be all you need for your kits. Now guys, if you want the 3D kits in the game, which obviously you can see in the match engine, then you need to click here on 3D kits, foot 2022 kit packs, and then look, you've got all of these, all of these here. So this is a good one for all the English league kits. So I actually need to download this, so I am going to grab it. So this is for the 2021-22 of course we just click here england levels one to six very very nice go to a media fire file that'll load and then once it does of course we can download it now guys this is the real names license fix so this will change juventus um back to juventus from their fake name manchester united from man ufc to back to manchester united it'll change all of the kind of uh, cup competition names such as the Champions League um, Premier League put them all right um, So yeah, this is very good. So all you need to do is hit download now. It's a very very small file You can see your download will begin in five seconds This should download there you go instantly downloaded because it's a very small file And that is all you need to download guys for your foot manager 2022 now It's time to show you how to get them into the game. So guys next up we're gonna put our real names fix into the game so look it's here in our downloads we're gonna open it there we go so we've got these two files here so we're gonna move that over to my other screen for now so first up we need to go to this pc uh so where your foot manager installed you need to go to there so on here is my e-drive steam library steam apps common foot manager 2022 data database db and then this is an interesting bit guys so don't be scared when you get to this point because these numbers that will change throughout the year as the databases get updated. So on release day, which is Tuesday the 9th of November, uh, there might there probably will be a new database release. So you might have to do this again. Um, so yeah, you just need to click on the latest one, which is kind of the biggest number. So 2201. And then what you need to go is to DBC permanent. And then you need to delete a few of these files. So you need to delete Zebra Chore and Fake Stuff, Zebra Award, Swear Words, the, both these licensing files, forbidden names, and Brazil kits. So you need to delete all of those files. So then, guys, what we need to do is you need to go back to 2201. Then we go to EDT, permanent, and we need to delete some files here. So we just have to delete fake.edt. Delete that file. That's all good. Now you go to 2201 again. And then this is where our real names come in. So we go to ink, all, and then we need to delete some of these things. So we need to delete fake. Look down to way for under N League. So just delete those files. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my WinRAR file back over here. And you need to copy both of these files and drag them into here. And that is your real names and club names sorted, guys. Let's move on to the logos. So, guys, next up, we're going to do our logos. So first, we need to go to the TCM Mega Pack. So get that open. There we go. So I'm going to put it over to my other screen for now. Then we get the TCM update out as well, if you've installed that. It doesn't matter if you have not, it does not really make a difference, it's just kind of a latest update if you want that. And you also need the 680 file for the Manchester United logo. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2022, Graphics like we created, and then Logos. So in here, we're going to put our TCM Mega Pack. So guys, our TCM Mega Pack has copied over, so we can just close this WinRAR file. So what we need to do is we need to open this up. Then what we need to do is we need to go to bring our TCM update file over if you've got it. And then you need to go into graphics and then paste these two files in there and they will copy over. Um, and when it comes, when it's copied, it's going to come to a file. Um, it's going to come to a, a window when it moves them. So guys, it'll then come up with this window. So it says the destination has 4,699 files with the same names. You need to click replace the files because that will update them. It'll continue doing this and you're all good with your logos then. The last thing we need to do with the logos is 
go to our 680 file. So we'll just wait for this to finish doing. Um, but here you've got your United logo. So first up, now that's done, we need to go to logos, Europe, England, clubs, and then you've got normal and small here. So for the United logo, you need to go to the normal folder, open this large folder and drag this 680 file over to the folder and you've got your United logo in there. Then the small, you guessed it, you go to the small folder and drag over the 680 file into there. And that is how to get all your logos in Football Manager 22, including the Manchester United logo as well. Up next, it's the kits. So guys, for our kits, we are going to go to all the kits we downloaded. So you can see I've downloaded a few here. So we've got the Premier League ones, the Serie A ones, the La Liga ones. So you're going to open up all of these files. Let's drag that over there. The Serie A file as well. The La Liga file. And guys, you need to open up your 3D kits as well. So we've got all of these files now. So we're going to go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2022, Graphics, Kits. So what you need to do is you need to drag over your Premier League ones. So all we have to do is get Premier League, drag it in there. Very nice. So we can close that file now. We've got the La Liga ones, which I'll drag over. Very nice. La Liga. Paste it in there. Very nice. And then the Serie A ones, finally. We'll bring those over. Serie A. Paste it in there. Lovely stuff. And then the 3D kits as well. All you need to do is get these two files and pop them in there. And that'll get the kit colours right as well. So guys, that is it for the kits. It's the same process for any other kits that you download as well for your game. Hope that's helped. We've got the faces up next. Let's get into it. So guys, let's get the faces into the game. So we go to our downloads and get this huge file, which is the DF11 Mega Pack July 2021. So you grab that and look, it's a lot of files so it takes them a while to read. So we head over to our documents, Sports Interactive, Foot Manager 2022, Graphics, and then Faces. Now, what you need to do is you need to click on this and grab it over and drag it over to the other thing. Now you can see, because of all the files, this is going to take a while to copy over. So guys, if you also install Face Update Patch on the same website, the DF11 website, um, all you have to do is basically copy them into the DF11 Mega Pack folder. So it's very, very simple and you should be all good with it. So hope that helped with the faces that can copy over. And uh, yeah, let's get in to the trophies. So guys, the final thing that you need are your trophies. Now we open up the trophies win raw file. There it is. Then again, we get to documents, sports interactive, football manager 2022, graphics, trophies. And all we have to do is go back, paste it in there. Lovely stuff. So guys, run foot manager. And to get this to work, you need to just start a new game. As you can see, um, we just check your England already still without the logos but you can see the real name it has worked Premier League Manchester United is all good now but to get the logos kits all that in um, to working into a game what you need to do is you need to uh, make sure you get to interface on advanced uh, under skin you need to tick reload skin when confirming changes and preferences and untick use caching to decrease page loading times confirm that that will reload the skin and as you can see it's taken a while because uh, it's getting everything into the game that we need. Of course we've put a lot a lot of things in so this might take a while but there you go it's all done so we get to start a new game. Uh, Korea and now we'll have a check. England there you go you've got all of your badges and uh, just to just to check that we've got everything we'll do a quick start game just to check that the kits are in as well. So guys, as you can already see, we've got the kits in here, and that will also apply for the actual game as well, your 2D kits. So guys, that is how you get everything, kits, trophies, um, logos, and your real names, all in Football Manager 2022, along with the faces as well. So guys, if you do have any problems, put them down in the comments. If the video did help you, please do leave a like, because... It, you know, helps the video reach other people as well. And guys, uh, if you wouldn't mind, please drop a subscription because I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers. So that would be massively appreciated. Hope this video helps you. That's going to be it from me. For now, it's George. Out.